1931, the Democratic presidential nomination acceptance speech, Franklin D. Roosevelt summarized the New Deal as the use of authority of government as an organized form of self-help for all classes and groups and sections of our, of our country. He later went on to win the presidency with 449 of the 551 votes, or simply 57% of the popular vote. Once assigned in office, he wasted no time in completing his promises. Maybe this was the reason why he served four terms with a total of 12 years and 42 days. The New Deal comes from the Great Depression starting. The president prior to Roosevelt was Herbert Hoover. Herbert Hoover is actually a very interesting man. He's a very brilliant man when it comes to business. Unfortunately for Hoover, when the economy crashes, what he does not get is that the people expect the government to fix it. Not do they just expect the government to regulate the economy, but they want the government to manipulate the economy to the point that all of their problems are solved. Hoover is also very reluctant to do any kind of relief. He thinks you should just let the economy fix itself. Uh, that left alone, business would recover, everybody would have jobs through business, and life would be great. And Hoover just does not realize how much people's expectations have changed. So, After the stock market crashed in 1929, Herbert Hoover reminded his people that it was normal, that the economy would eventually fix itself. Hoover made Americans think that they should take care of themselves and their families instead of relying on the government to do so. According to Hoover, the government's role was to encourage and facilitate corporations not to control them. He believes that if he gave out aid to citizens, it would only weaken the people. FDR introduced the Agricultural Adjustment Act. The purpose of the Agricultural Adjustment Act was to raise crop prices by lowering production. Under the AAA, the government paid cotton growers $200 million to plow under 10 million acres of land. In some cases, it paid farmers to slaughter millions of pigs. This did not come without controversy. The policy of so many Americans who protested because people, people were going hungry. Overall, the AAA helped raise farm prices and put money in farmers' pockets. Prior to the New Deal, many people felt abandoned by the government when people were hurt on their job or when they reached their elderly age or if they lost their job, most people had no means of support. The Social Security Act was introduced in 1935. This act provided a fair compensation and insurance to the people stipulated by the government, the first of its kind, with many other countries using the same terms of the Social Security Act within their own con with their own government. To make his efforts more transparent, President Roosevelt made extraordinary use of the radio to publicize his programs. This was done through a series of fireside chats. Franklin D. Roosevelt said, When you deposit money in the bank, the bank does not put the money into a safe vault. It invests your money. A comparatively small part of the money that you put in the bank is kept in currency, an amount which is in normal times is wholly sufficient to cover the cash needs of the average civilian. To make the deal a economic success, President Roosevelt invited people with substantial influence over the nation, such as doctors, economists, lawyers, and politicians. With all these people cultivating to find a solution to the Great Depression. The men form the nucleus of his brain trust for the development of new measures, new ideas, and action now.
New measures and new ideas. For the 99 days of the special session, the White House inundates Congress with a flood of new legislation. The national neurosis of fright and stagnation dissolves under the president's slogan, we can do it, at least let's try. Congress and the country are overwhelmingly behind him as the New Deal honeymoon begins. Bill after bill passes without question or hesitation. Action now. The president has said, the country demands bold, persistent experimentation. And with a dozen unprecedented plans, he sets the experiments in motion. As historian Frederick Lewis Allen points out, it reminds one of the man who, feeling unwell, takes in quick succession all the tonics on the shelf. The new Secretary of Agriculture, Henry Wallace, launches the AAA, a program for controlling and managing the nation's farm resources. The new Secretary of the Interior, Harold Ickes, administers the PWA, a program of public works designed to create jobs for the unemployed. Secretary of Labor, Frances Perkins, the first woman cabinet member, an expert in employment problems, an advocate of economic planning. The president has said he is a little left of center. The Congress, the country are there with him. Action now. No president has ever made so much news in so short a time. He stands for repeal of prohibition and calls for the immediate legalization of light wines and 3.2 beer, contending they are non-intoxicating. The president takes the nation off the gold standard. More agencies, projects, plans, FBRA, CCC, TVA, an alphabetical avalanche. Snap judgments have to be made, says the president. What will be the long-range effect of the New Deal measures of the rapid overhaul of the whole governmental system? The New Dealer answers, people don't eat in the long run, they eat every day. So do something now. If it doesn't work, try something else tomorrow. Action, says the president. Action now.